Should I try it for today? What do I do? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and tap the subscribe button and don't forget to follow my Instagram account as well. So most of y'all know that I do the sport cheerleading and most of y'all also know that I have a passion for it. So I decided why not make a video of how to make the cheer team at your school. So let's get on to it. So first thing. Why do you want to be a cheerleader? Like, what is it about a cheerleader that makes you want to be it? If it's because of short skirts, popularity, or boyfriend, then you probably shouldn't try out because that's not what cheerleading is. Cheerleading is dedication and commitment. It also has a very high risk of injuries, and it is considered to be one of the most dangerous sports of all time. But that shouldn't stop you from trying out because... It's worth it. It's totally worth it. You will have a lot of fun. You are going to love it there. You are really going to be bond with your team. You guys will be traveling together at games, camps, competitions. You name it. It's so fun to like show off what we worked on practice at pep rallies, games and competitions. Whatever it is. Because that's what cheerleading means to me. So you have to know what cheerleading really is before you try out. Okay, so I wrote a list with do's and don'ts. So first, we're starting with do's. So do, believe in yourself a whole lot. Definitely believe in yourself because that will definitely increase your chances of making the team because you'll believe in yourself, you know? And also do, be confident. Definitely be confident. Just try not to be like, oh my gosh, no, 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 I can't do that. No, just be confident because you got this. You can do it. Do ask questions a whole lot. Like Ask questions. If you don't understand something, definitely ask a question. Do not just sit there and be quiet because you just because you think that asking a question will be something idiotic. No, you not asking a question, that is idiotic. You're supposed to ask, ask questions if you don't understand something. And also, be positive. That will just make chances a whole lot better. Just be really positive. Think positive. Think, I can do this. I will make that team. I got this. And have a good attitude. Coaches love it when you have a good attitude. Just be really nice. Be really nice to the teammates. Be really nice to the coaches. Be nice to the other people trying out. Just have a good, positive attitude. Everyone loves that. No one likes a cheerleader with a bad attitude. Also, do smile. Definitely smile a whole lot. Smiling can say a lot about you. So definitely smile when you're handing in a paper to the coach. Smile when you're doing the cheers and the chants and the dance. Smile when you're talking to the other people trying out. Smile when you're asking for help. Just smile. Be happy. You're going to be a cheerleader. Smile. Also, it's better to come early than to come on time or be late. Because coming early, that shows you that you really want this. You want to be on that team. Like, you really are dedicated and committed to it. So just be really early for everything. Be early to tryouts. Arrive there at least like 15 minutes or 10 minutes earlier. Just to, just to show the coach that you really want this. Also, definitely be friendly. Definitely socialize with other people. Make friends. Because like soon when you make the team, you're going to be like a family. So just like socialize, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to the coach, introduce yourself to the teammates, tell them how excited you are to try out. Also, definitely have fun because even if you don't make the team, you should still have fun because cheerleading is really fun. So just 
Act like you're having the time of your life there. Just be having the time of your life there. Just be really confident. Be fun. Just be happy. Be excited. Also, another tip, make sure to prepare and practice. Like, prepare before tryouts. Like, practice all your jumps, your tumbling, your stunting, and your motions, and your voice as well. Just be sure to, like, work on whatever you need to work on before tryouts. You should pre prepare, like, at least months before tryouts because, like, it's really going to pay off. Also, during the tryouts, they're going to be teaching you cheers, chants, and a dance. So just be sure to be like practicing those over and over again before the final tryout day. Also, come to tryouts prepared. Come to tryouts physically prepared, mentally prepared, and make sure to have all your paperwork in. So that can include any kind of paperwork, something related to like school sports or something. Make sure you turn it into the coach. Even better, turn it in early if you can. Also, if you want to prepare to tryouts and take it to the next level, there's like some certain classes that can help you with that or like certain cheer teams. For example, before you try out for your school's cheer team, there can be stuff like recreational cheer. There's also those high school cheer prep classes, which kind of like teaches you how like a high, typical high school cheer tryout goes. There's also like certain cheer classes that will teach you like all the basics and fundamentals of cheerleading. There are also open gyms where you could practice, work on whatever you're told to work on or whatever like you need to improve your skills on. And there's also stunting classes that you can take if stunting is required and if it's mostly advanced stunts. There are also tumbling classes you can take as well if tumbling classes are required as well or if it's not required but you just want to have bonus points for that. Or if you have a clinics thing at your school, I highly recommend you to go to one of those because they're super helpful. They will teach you everything you need for the tryouts. Also, if your school team has an out-of-season practice or conditioning, definitely go to those as well. You'll get to know the coach and get to know like all the other people on the team. Also, definitely volunteer or demonstrate for something. For example, volunteer to call a cheer, volunteer to hand out a form, demonstrate how to do a toe touch, demonstrate on how to do the dance, because that will just show confidence in you. And then they'll be like, Hmm, I like this girl. I think she deserves to be on the team. So definitely do that if you really want to make the team. Now I'm going to mention the don'ts. So first don't. Don't talk back. Don't talk back to the coach. Don't talk back to the teammates because that just shows pure disrespect and they barely even know you. Also, do not gossip. Those things can wait after cheer. So just please do not gossip because we don't need that negative energy at your tryouts. Also, do not have a poor attitude because that is also very disrespectful. Like, don't roll your eyes. Don't talk while the coach is talking. Don't, like, be rude to anyone because that will just... Because pretty soon you'll be a family, like I said before. And if you're going to be like rude to these people, have a poor attitude, they're not going to want you on the team because no one wants a cheerleader on the team who is disrespectful and rude to other people. Also, don't have a negative mindset because that can really affect you. Always have a positive mindset. Because if you have a negative mindset and just be like, no, I can't do it. I'll never make it. Then guess what? You won't make it because you're telling yourself that you won't make it. So just always be positive and tell yourself you will make it. You got this. Also, don't show up late because that also shows to the coach that you don't really want this. Like you don't really care about it. You're just like, ah, whatever. I'm just going to stop by and just do. Just don't be late because that just shows her that you don't really care 
If anything, be early. Also, do not give up. If you tried out previous times and did not make the team, that doesn't mean you should give up. You should keep trying until you make the team because that's what a good cheerleader does. You should never ever give up. Also, do not try out for the wrong reasons like I mentioned earlier because if you try out for the wrong reasons, you're not going to have as much fun and you won't know what cheerleading really is or what's it about. So please, try out for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons because cheerleading doesn't care about your popularity status or your boyfriend or short skirts or whatever. You have to actually love the sport. You have to actually be dedicated to it. You have to be committed to it. You have to have a passion for it. Cheerleading is one of those sports that, like, you can't just come in there and just do your thing. Like, you have to literally be prepared, be skilled in order to make that team. Also, when you're trying out, try not to look like you're too nervous or too shy. Because, like, the judges can see that. And they're like, okay, I don't know if I want this girl on the team. So you have to look excited and look happy, even if you really are nervous. Because like that's what the judges want. Like They can see that you really want this. But even if you are nervous, that is totally okay. If you're shy, that is okay too. Because everyone else is just as nervous as you are. Even those returning veteran cheerleaders. Now, moving on to the actual cheer stuff. First, I'm starting out with the motions. Motions are the very most important part of cheerleading. You use them in almost everything. You use them in cheers. You use them in dances. You use them in jumps. And you use them in stunts. So I'm gonna teach you all the motions. Put your legs together and your arms out by your side in blades. That is called a clean. Now, put your legs out shoulder width apart and put your arms up high like this. We call that a high V. Bring it down, it's a low V. If it's in the middle like this, you call that a T. Bend it in, it's a broken T. If you do it like this, they are called daggers. Push it high in the sky, that is called a touchdown. Bring that low to the ground, that is a low touchdown. And this is called a right punch. And then you switch your arms. This is called a left punch. And this is called a left K. And then you switch those motions. And this is called the right K. So those are all the motions that you need to know for cheer tryouts. And I'm gonna like tell you some tips on those motions. You're super sharp at everything you do, which means that you have to hit your motions really sharp because that will just make your motions look better and then you'll just stand out differently because that's like the foundation of cheerleading because since motions are the most important part of cheer and you need to make it all look nice and clean and sharp. So do you notice the difference between this and this? The second one looks better, right? So make sure you just really hit those motions really sharp. And you hit them in the right placement. So yeah, just make sure to do that. Also, whenever you're hitting those motions when you're doing cheers and chants, uh, make sure you're also squeezing super tight with your whole body. So that would also make you look better. So you have to squeeze super tight while making those motions be very sharp. Uh, most likely at tryouts, you will spear it in and spear it out. So in order to do that, you have to like look very happy. Just look like you're having fun there. Look excited. Just be happy. Be confident. Smile. And most likely every after jump and cheer or whatever, you're also going to be spearing as well. So I have a few options for y'all how to spear So when you're spearing, make sure you have a loud voice and sound enthusiastic. And just really smile, be peppy, be loud, just like be excited, like look fun. Um, there's also, like you can wave your hands, go like that. 
Um, if they allow you to do any jump or kick or like a tumbling trick, definitely do that. But if they don't allow you to do that, then just like stick with those hands. Just be really peppy and smiley. And also if they let you use like certain motions, for example, lines, let's say, like you can do that. Just kind of to give you all an idea on something. Also, if you guys are going to be using pom-poms, make sure you also like shake those pom-poms when you're spiriting. And also when you're spiriting, whatever you do, whatever you say, do not woo. Just don't do it. It will make you sound like a cow and it will make you sound like you don't have any other words to say. So just don't do it. Just don't. Make sure you practice and memorize the words before the actual tryout day so everything can go the way how you expect and try to pronounce those words correctly. When you practice your cheers and your chants, um, make sure you like hit the right placement on motions. Like for example, if it's a right high V, hit that right high V and just make sure to practice that many times before the actual tryout day. And same thing with the voice I just mentioned. Be loud, have enthusiasm in it. Um, don't sing, punch the words. And as well as punch the motions. Be really sharp. Um, do not flow into the other motion. You need to make sure that you have to hit every single motion. It will just make things look better. And while you're practicing your cheers and your chants, also make sure to be really tight with your whole body. Because like you will just look better like that. Just like squeeze every muscle of you. Just be really tight. Also make sure to smile while you're doing your cheers and chants. Because that will make everything look even better. Trust me, like more enthusiastic. And also at the end of each cheers of chants, make sure to like spear it at the end. Hey, 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 go bears, let's go. Quick tip when you're learning the new cheer for tryouts, I'd suggest you to practice the words first slowly and then after that you can practice it with motion slowly again and then each time work your way up quicker and quicker until like how fast you need to do that cheer or that chant and because like that mostly works for me so basically you'll have it down on the final day. If you guys will also have to be learning a dance for tryouts, I have some tips on that as well. Like I mentioned for the cheers and chants, just make sure to hit every motion while you're dancing and just be really sharp. Like keep those motions tight, be tight with your whole body, just have really good technique. Also while you're dancing, make sure to like add some sass onto it as well because that will also just make everything look better. Because the judges like seeing that. They like seeing some sass, but like with technique as well. Also, I highly recommend for you to like add some facials in the dance. Because that will make everything just look even better. So if you don't know like what facials you can do, um, you could just like copy like the vowels of the alphabet. Like A, E, I, O, U. Those are just some examples. And you could just repeat those all throughout the dance because that's just going to look really good. You're going to look like you're having fun and you're going to look really happy and excited. Also, try to be on the rhythm. Try not to rush too much and try not to like fall behind too much. Just like try keeping up with the rhythm with like each A count part of the dance you're doing. Also, if you're having trouble with learning to dance, I would suggest you to like separate the A counts from each other, just like each A counts that you're doing in the dance. 
So like for the first eight count, you can like start off very slow and then just work your way up, go faster and faster. And then do the same thing for the second eight count and then the third eight count and so on. And then after that, you can try like mixing it, try doing it like all together. But first, do it all together slowly. But then again, work your way up faster and faster until you hit that normal speed that you would need for tryouts. And that's how usually I get to memorize my dances. So basically, you'll have that down by the final day. Next up, I'll be showing you all four jumps. Toe touch, right hurler, left hurler, and pike. First up, a toe touch. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next up, a right hurler. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third up, a left hurdler. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last but not least, a pike. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna break it down for y'all. So first up, starting with the toe touch. And keep in mind that all these jumps are in eight count, just so you guys know. So first up is a toe touch. So five, six, seven, eight, and then you go one, two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. And another prep of the toe touch, it's when you hit high V instead of putting this clap above of you. So let me just demonstrate that as well. Five, six, seven, eight. One, hit high V two, cross three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how you prep for the toe touch. Now I'll be teaching y'all how to prep for the hurdler. Um, this can be on both sides. Um, let's do right hurdler, for example. So you first start with one, turn here, two, and then three, make sure it goes through you, and then hit four, five, six, seven, eight. And the same thing is for the left hurdler and the pike, but for pike, just make sure to keep both of your legs together. So back to the toe touch, make sure when you hit the toe touch, make sure one leg is like out here and the other leg is out here. So it's kind of like a straddle jump in the air. And for the right hurdler, it's one leg out here. Front leg should be straight and then the left, the back leg should be bent. And then for the left hurdler, it's the complete opposite. Your left leg should be straight in front, and then your back leg should be bent. And then for the pike, like I said earlier today, it's both of your legs together. I'm also gonna talk about the technique of jumps that you would need. You don't have to have like necessary, like very hyper extended jumps. If you can do that, that's great. But most importantly, what the judges are looking for is that like you just have beautiful jumps, like straight legs, pointed toes. Make sure you have the correct arm setups. And try try to get your jumps at least higher than like a V, you know? There are also many exercises and stretches on YouTube that you can do to improve your height and flexibility on jumps. So you guys should really check those out. I'm going to talk about stunting really quickly if you guys are going to be stunting at tryouts. So first off, I'm going to start with the positions. There is a flyer, a side base, a main base, and a back spot. Sometimes there could also be a front spot, but most high school cheer teams don't usually have a front spot. So that just leaves us with four positions. 
So I'm gonna give y'all some tips really quickly for like each stump position. So let's start off with the flyer. If you're a flyer like me, then I suggest you to work on your flexibility in your balance. And also when they put you up in the air, just make sure you're staying up really tight. Just squeeze every cell in your body, every muscle, every cell. And just make sure you pull up your own weight. And like try putting like the balance on like the middle of your foot so you don't toe or heel. And that will make it easier for the people beneath you. And flyers, as soon as you're getting ready to go up in the air, make sure you're in that squish position. Make sure like your butt is sticking out. And make sure like your legs are bent. And don't try not to drive out forward. Just and like make sure you're holding your base's shoulders. And then as they push you up in the air, make sure you push yourself up and just look confident. Just be confident. Just make sure you push off of their shoulders. If you're a base, then I suggest you work on your arm strength and your back strength and your leg strength as well. And just make sure you're holding the flyer's foot properly. So you start off like that for like in a squish. And then you bring your flyer up to a half and then you open your arms out like this and you'll be like holding the flyer's foot over here. Make sure you first squat those legs and then stand up straight when your flyer's in the air. Just like really work those legs. And also try not to arch your back too much. If you're a back spot, I suggest you to also work on your arm strength and really try to get under the stunt. So first, like, you'll be grabbing, like, the flyer's waist, like, as she goes up. And as she goes up in the air, you quickly grab her ankles. I also want to talk about cheer shoes really quickly with stunts. So if you're going to be a flyer, I suggest you to wear flat cheer shoes. The ones with, like, flat bottoms. So it would be easier for, like, the bases to, like, hold you up. It will even be better if you have a grip on the bottom of your shoe. But if you don't have any cheer shoes or if you're like new to cheer or something, then I suggest you to get like flat athletic tennis shoes because that's basically like the next best thing. Here are the two cheer shoes that I use for cheerleading. Um, they're both really, really good. I love them both so much. And th they're both very good for stunting. And notice how bo like both of these cheer shoes have flat bottoms. And this one. Um, I personally prefer like these cheer shoes for stunting because like they're very lightweight and they have a better grip on the bottom of the shoe. But these shoes are pretty good too. Also, if you guys will be stunting at tryouts, um, try to make sure to sign up for a stunt class if you guys are going to be doing some advanced stuff. But if it's probably going to be something just like a half or an extension and it'll all be like on two legs, then you probably won't need a stunt class. For those who want to tumble, I'll be showing y'all all the basics of tumbling, all the basics that you need in order to tumble, so yeah. This is a cartwheel. This is a round off. This is called a handstand. And this is called a back bend. Also keep in mind, if you're going to tumble, you have to have really good technique. Like you need to have all the basics down before you could start going into like more advanced tumbling skills. So that way it would reduce the risk of injuries and you won't hurt yourself as much. Also, make sure you're being clean with your tumbling, just like I mentioned with the motions before, because that will make everything look better, and you won't look sloppy, because you don't want to look sloppy. You want to be clean. You want to make it look better. You want to make the team. So make sure you're really clean with your motions and your tumbling. At certain schools, tumbling may or may not be required, but if it isn't required, then you'll most likely have the bonus points. So if you do know how to tumble, then you'll probably get like bonus points for that. That may increase your chances of making the team, even though it isn't required. 
Yeah, you can still make the team if you don't know how to tumble, but tumbling is just something to help you, just for you guys to keep that in mind. However, but if tumbling is required at your school, and if you don't know how to tumble, then I suggest you to sign up for a tumbling class at least a few months to a year before the tryouts, depending on how much help you need with it, and depending which certain skill you would need to like make the team. So now I'm gonna talk about how the actual tryout process goes. So school tryouts usually go from three to four days and you will be taught a cheer, a dance, and maybe a few chants. So you will have to learn all of them by the final day. You will be placed into groups of three and four to learn the cheers with and to try out with. You will also practice everything else during tryouts. On the final day, you will perform jumps, tumbling, stunting, cheer, chance, and a dance. Now I'm going to discuss the proper attire you need for tryouts, but if your school doesn't follow this, then don't listen to me, but if your school does follow this, then please follow along. So on the final tryout day, you will need to wear a white shirt with some black spandex shorts, and you'll also need to put your hair up in a high ponytail, and if you have a bow, make sure to wear your hair with the bow in to make things look more presentable, and make sure you also wear your white cheer shoes if you have them. When you try out, make sure you don't have any jewelry on and make sure you don't have any lawn nails either when you're trying out. They will call you in to try out by your number and they will also call you in to let you know about the results by your number. After the tryouts, the judges will evaluate your scores by adding rate numbers to the rubric. They will then call you back in to privately discuss your results on whether you made the team or not. This can range from right after tryouts to like the next day. Also, before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know the message that it is okay to be nervous because everyone is just as nervous as you are, even the veteran returning cheerleaders. Like I mentioned before in this video, just be confident, be excited, and have fun because you got this. Also, don't worry if you make a mistake. It is not the end of the world. Even if you do make a mistake, just keep going and pretend like nothing happened. You can even go to clean for like two counts before you get back to what you were doing if you were need to. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just need some help or advice, feel free to comment down below under this video. I'd be happy to help you with stuff. And you can also DM me on Instagram if you got any questions about anything. But make sure it's actually related to this video. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope that my tips helped you. And good luck to everyone who is trying out. I hope you all make the team. But even if you don't, don't be discouraged because cheerleading does take a lot of hard work and dedication. And that should give you a full season or a full year to try it again and hopefully make it that time. So yeah, please like this video, hit that subscribe button, tap on that bell for more notifications, and see you next time, XO!